Well, you guys got another video on how to reset your forgotten Windows 10 uh, password with Hiren's Boot CD. Now, someone asked this question in our Discord server. They had problems resetting their password, and I wanted to make this video just to show them how to use it, uh, Hiren's Boot CD or the WinPE version to reset their password. You can see we've got a password set on this account here, and I'll quickly show you how to do it. Now, you can see here this is the Hiren's Boot CD PE version and it doesn't contain any pirated software or it doesn't include any sort of illegal software on there so you're going to need to download that and you're also going to need to download Rufus which is a free tool to actually build a bootable USB flash drive so I've got the download done and I've got the Rufus in my folder here and all I'm going to do is fire up Rufus here and put in my USB flash drive to create the bootable uh, USB flash drive with uh, the Hiren's Boot CD PE so you can see here, this is Hirons, and uh, we've got our USB flash drive in there. All I need to do here is select uh, the ISO image, which is in this folder here. So I'll go ahead and select that and click open. Okay, so now we need to choose the partition scheme, and you've got two options here, GPT, uh, targeted system will be for UEFI, non-CSM uh, setups, which are the no more newer sort of setup and then you've got the MBR setup which is going to be for BIOS and UEFI CSM setup so choose which one suits your needs and uh, depending on uh, what your computer is and what you need will determine uh, which one you use there so I'm going to just choose MBR here for this tutorial um, but you can try GPT for the newer systems if you've got one of those use that method click start and uh, make your bootable USB flash drive with the Hiram's Boot CD PE version, which is a pre-installed environment version. So click the start button and let that uh, build. And I'll show you how to boot into the uh, BIOS. So tap in the F1, F2, escape or delete or F12 key to get into the BIOS. Go to settings and then you wanna hit boot. And then you wanna change your boot um, setup inside your BIOS. Yours might look slightly different to this. So I'm going to go in here a boot mode um, select and you can see here legacy plus UEFI and you've got UEFI so if I was using UEFI setting there it would be GPT setup but I'm going to use legacy plus UEFI so I can use the MBR setup here. Boot option must be your USB flash drive select it in the list and push enter and then push F10 uh, to save those settings. Now I'm also going to go into the advanced tab here and then go down to USB configuration. Yours might be slightly different for yours. You can see legacy USB support is enabled on this board and that's what I want to leave on. I'm going to say F10, say yes to save these settings and this will then allow me to boot to that USB flash drive. So I'm just going to click save and exit here. Push the enter key to boot to the USB flash drive and it will then start to boot up to Hiren's uh, Boot CD PE version. It will start to initialize the Hiren's Boot CD PE, let it boot up, it does take a bit of time. And this is just getting all the network settings set. So you've got the internet via this um, setup here. So I'm just letting this uh, boot up. It does take a bit of time. You can see PE Network Manager is doing all the work for me. And now we're at the desktop of our pre-installed environment here. We can go into the utilities here and I'm going to go down to the security uh, folder here. Inside here, I've got some options. Go into passwords, and I'm going to be using the NT password edit, but you can use either one of these, okay? This one's an old school type one. It works really well. You can see the location is pointing to the config SAM folder, uh, which is where the password is stored on this Windows system. It will need to be uh, a local account okay it can't be a Microsoft account it won't reset those passwords you have to do that in a different method and I've already made those videos uh, for you so select the account that you want to reset the password on in this case it's called Brightech so I'm gonna select here you can see unlock is here as well and change password click on the change password and you can see there is a, a new password and verify I'm just gonna leave that blank and the reason why is because I want to remove the password altogether. Save our changes, exit out, and that job is done. It's that simple. You can use this method on any version of Windows, whether it be Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows 8, 8.1, Windows 10. It doesn't really matter. It will reset those passwords. As long as you're using a local account on Windows 10, that password 
will be removed and reset uh, to blank because we left it blank if I put a password on there it would have give us that password what we set it to it's that simple now again this will work only for the uh, local account offline account on Windows 10 uh, if you're using a Microsoft account this method won't work because the password isn't stored in that location and it won't reset it you will have to do a different method to reset that password and I've made a video on that just search through my uh, videos list and you should be okay as you can see the password here now has been removed and that's basically how you can uh, reset or remove uh, the password on a Windows 10 system using the Hiram's Boot CD PE version which is a pre-installed environment. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you've got problems just like this and you want them resolved then you can nip onto our Discord server and I'll be happy to make those videos for you or even help you uh, resolve your problems uh, when, and, uh, when I'm on uh, Discord. Anyway, have a great weekend and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet Hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.